Tallulah Willis updated fans on the state of the retired actor Bruce Willis and explained why her family has been quite transparent about the actor's diagnosis of aggressive demon. During Wednesday's episode of The Drew Barrymore Show, the 29-year-old actress whose father is allegedly losing his twatty viver and language skills due to dementia decline discussed the 68-year-old Die Hard star. Bruce's family revealed on social media in February that he had been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia, FDD, a very rare aggressive cognitive disease that is a form of dementia, according to Tallulah. In response to Drew's question, the youngest Moore daughter said, Well, I think it's too full. Bruce and Demi Moore also have a daughter named Demi Moore. It's important for us to raise awareness about FDD, but it's also part of who we are as a family. If we can take something that we're struggling with as a family and individually to help other people, to turn it around and make something beautiful about it, that's incredibly significant for us, she continued. Becoming like an archaeologist to my dad's stuff, his world to his little trinkets and doodads has been a really beautiful way for me to heal through this, Tolola said. The stunning woman also recounted how Bruce values music and how it played a significant role in her upbringing with her sisters. Playing music and simply lounging in this love vibe is a big part of how I spend time with him these days. It truly is unique. After that, Barrymore questioned Tallulah about the state in which Bruce is at the moment. She said, he is the same, which as far as I've learned, is the best thing that you can wish her. And when I'm with him, all I see is love, she said endearingly. And my dad is here, and he adores me. Rumor 35 and Scout 32 are also shared by Demi Moore and Bruce, the parents of Tallulah. The former couple were divorced in 2000 after being wed in 1987. The actor from Sixth Sense Slater got married to Emma Hemming in 2009. The two of them have children, Mabel, who is 11, and Evelyn, who is 9. To create space for the negative self-talk is the most valuable lesson I have learned throughout this journey, whether it be personal, through my dad's struggles, or from how our family has come together to form this exquisite tapestry of wonderful female energy. I need to make room for it so that when I see it come up, I can just say, okay, I see you. I understand why we're coming up, and you're going to go over here, she said, stressing the significance of not trying to eradicate it. After repeatedly and totally gutting myself, I was able to find a lot of love for myself, which is really special. Close friend and writer of Bruce's 1980 sitcom Moonlighting, Glenn Gordon Karen, provided a devastating update on the star last month in October. He told Page Six, my sense is the first one to three minutes he knows who I am. He's not completely verbal. He used to read a lot, but he doesn't read now because he didn't want people to know it. All those language skills are gone from him, and yet he's still Bruce, he continued. The Chwadi Viver is gone while you were with him, even though you know he's Bruce and you were thankful he's there. Although Glenn acknowledged that he is not always quite that good, he clarified that he does make an effort to see Willis as much as possible. I do, however, make an effort to speak with him and his wife, and I have a loose relationship with his three older children. I've made a lot of effort to remain in his life. The reason his illness is so astounding is that, in my experience, nobody possessed greater joy of life than Bruce Willis. The actor just adored waking up every morning and trying to live life to the fullest, according to Karen, who also said that the star is now seeing life through a screen door. After their inspirational stepmother Emma Hemming talked up about her husband's condition on the Today Show in September, Tallulah and Scout gave a unique homage to her. You inspire me every single F A strix A strix A strix A strix A strix G day with your bravery and deep love. Scout said, referring to her as a champion.